So out here in Oakland, um, Earn Your Leisure or EYL, uh, they're doing like a real estate expo. It was free. A lot of free um, expos normally have like a back of the room offer, but I thought I would come check it out. I uh, love the guys at EYL and plus me throwing events. I love to um, learn and see how things are set up. So I'm gonna check it out. So I'm here with Rashad, uh, he runs EYL. What advice, man, I know you only got a couple seconds, what advice would you give somebody starting out in the podcast game, business game, what separated you from everybody else doing podcasts? Uh, consistency and originality. That was the two major keys that we carry with us to this day. We look what everybody else was doing and we did the complete opposite and we extremely, extremely consistent. That's two things that most people take for granted. That's the key to our success. My question, the only, what was the opposite thing? I feel like I feel like I watch you guys, I definitely see the consistency. What was that opposite thing that you guys are like, oh, this is us? Uh, we talked about finance in a way that nobody else is talking about. It's fun, making it fun, talking about sports, music, the way we dressed. So we took a different approach that was non traditional in the world of finance. That was our thing. You do stay fly with the, where the party air? Where the party air? You know what I mean? You got the rollie on right now? Oh, yeah, they be trippy. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Hey, what's going down? So, uh, just kind of want to recap. They have a second part. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna stay or not. Um, I have to get home to the family, but just really wanted to recap my takeaways for um, the real estate event. I think my biggest takeaway is I'm really, I'm really happy that the conversation. There's a huge African American population. I'm out here in Oakland, so I just love that that we're trying to. You know, the guys at EYL, regardless if they're trying to profit or not, they're definitely trying to educate our community. They talked about credit, they talked about business grants, they talked about the importance of bookkeeping. These things aren't taught to us. They're definitely not taught in school. Um, I actually don't know where you would really know them or learn about them um, unless you do your own research. So I think it's great that, you know, they talk about real estate and preparing for real estate, but they also talked about a lot about business and business credit and establishing personal credit and how important that is and how to do those things. So I think my biggest takeaway is I, I love that the conversation is being had. I love that they put together a beautiful panel of a um, real estate professional. They put together like an insurance professional uh, for the first part. Um, I don't know what the second part's gonna be, but I just love that they're giving out that information. This event was completely free. So I think that was my biggest takeaway that, that the conversation is being had at least. Um, and it's, it's being had for people of color uh, so that, you know, if you, you know, you know, I'll probably throw some drone shots in here, but if you look around, we have to be able to start at the bottom in order to get to the top but the key thing is they're starting and so a lot of people don't even know how to set up business credit or set up credit and it, it's sad because if you look around even oakland which is predominantly black but if you look at all the buildings and all the businesses and around oakland i would guess that only 30 percent if not i know the high rises aren't owned by black people i know that a lot of the bigger businesses aren't owned by black people the banking system out here ain't owned by black people but the the population out here is all black so I think by having these conversations on home buying on business well you know I hope that if I come to Oakland in two years five years ten years that we own some high-rises that we have bigger real estate projects that we have Airbnbs that we own hotels that we own you know um, a certain percent I don't want to knock anybody else out I just want to be included in the party per se so I love that the conversation has been started and you know big shout out to EYL it's my biggest takeaway